In the world of ancient mysteries, there exists a story that has baffled historians and archaeologists for centuries. A tale of grandeur, power, and hidden truths concealed beneath the sands of time. The world as we know it may never be the same again, for within the chambers of the lost tomb of Queen Cleopatra lie the keys to a history we thought we knew, but is now poised to astonish us all. Greats of the written word William Shakespeare, Antony and Cleopatra, and George Bernard Shaw, Caesar and Cleopatra, both remarked that Cleopatra's tragic life and death were so emotionally charged that they nearly felt like works of fiction. She has, in point of fact, had an influence on a great number of creative individuals for hundreds of years. She is often referenced in plays, films, and operas. More lately, she has been able to reach new audiences with the use of television, ads, and even video games. According to the findings of a recent discovery, there is renewed reason for confidence that we may be closer than ever before to locating the last burial place of Queen Cleopatra, who reigned as the last pharaoh of Egypt. But who exactly was she, and to what extent did Cleopatra figure into the making of her legacy? Cleopatra Philopater was born in Alexandria, Egypt, in the year 69 BC. Her full name was Cleopatra Philopater. From the year 51 BC to the year 30 BC, she served as the final pharaoh of the ancient Egyptian empire. She passed away in 30 BC. After their father, Ptolemy Alites, died away, convention dictated that she should marry her brother Ptolemy. Because of this, she had no choice but to marry her brother. When he passed away, she took over as Egypt's only pharaoh, despite the fact that the two of them had co-ruled Egypt for a period of time prior to his death. Despite the fact that her family was of Greek descent, Cleopatra was interested in learning Egyptian. She wanted to be able to persuade her people that she was the ancient Egyptian goddess Isis and engage with them on a more intimate level. Greek was the language that was used between the Ptolemies. Julius Caesar and Cleopatra had a romantic connection, and Cleopatra became pregnant with Julius Caesar's son, Ptolemy, nine months after the couple first met. Ptolemy Caesar was born in 47 BC. Cleopatra had an adulterous affair with the Roman statesman Mark Anthony after the murder of Caesar in 44 BC. She ultimately had three children with him. Cleopatra shared the position of Mark Anthony, that Caesar's rightful successor, Gaius Octavius, sometimes known as Augustus, ought not to be in command of the Romans. This ultimately culminated to the Battle of Actium, in which Augustus' troops triumphed against Mark Antony's, who subsequently committed himself after their victory. As a consequence of this, Cleopatra, who was said to have bathed in donkey milk to preserve her beauty, took her own life at the age of 39 by chewing the head off of a poisonous snake. As soon as Egypt became a Roman province, Emperor Augustus was able to declare it to be a Roman province, and the rest, as they say, is history. It is reported that Emperor Augustus gave his approval for Cleopatra to be buried next to her lover, Mark Anthony, together with their three children. These children were saved and brought up as Roman citizens. Cleopatra died shortly after Mark Anthony. This indicates how well esteemed Cleopatra was, even by those who were actively working against her. It is also possible to deduce that Cleopatra and her lover were mummified, which is a process for preserving human remains that entails drying out the human remains to prevent them from rotting. This would be in keeping with her status as a pharaoh. This desiccation technique was performed by carefully removing the majority of the internal organs without causing any harm to the cadaver's surface and by generously applying natron, a salt-like material with high hygroscopic qualities. The brain, for example, was removed by dragging it out through the nostrils, and a discrete hole was cut in the side of the corpse to remove the internal organs, with the exception of the heart, which the Egyptians considered to be the key to the afterlife. These procedures were carried out to avoid the body from becoming disfigured. The embalming was a lengthy procedure that lasting up to 70 days. It was either decided to externally preserve these organs and then reintroduce them into the body cavity, or else they were placed in canopic jars and buried with the corpse. After that, the dead body was wrapped in linen, buried beside a number of the deceased person's possessions, and then sealed. Then, where is the tomb of Cleopatra? 
The location of Cleopatra's tomb is another topic that has been the subject of some debate. Egyptologist and former Minister of State for Antiquities Affairs, Zahi Hawass, originally hypothesized that it was buried under the Taposiris Magna Temple, also known as the Great Tomb of Osiris, in a region not far from Alexandria, which served as the capital of ancient Egypt. Dr. Kathleen Martinez, a minister counselor in charge of cultural affairs at the Dominican Embassy in Egypt, made the discovery in 2019 of mummies, Isis figurines, and coins depicting the figures of Cleopatra and Anthony in the same location, which gave more evidence in support of Hawass' assertion. The Dominican Embassy in Egypt is located in Egypt. However, in an unexpected turn of events, Hawass decided to forsake his idea that the tomb is located under Osiris' great tomb and instead declare that Egyptians worshipped in temples rather than interring their dead there. What's new about the tomb's location? Kathleen Martinez made the startling discovery in the beginning of November 2022 that the great tomb of Osiris conceals a tunnel that is over a mile long and stands over six feet in height. Many people believe that the tunnel leads to the entrance to Cleopatra's tomb. However, there is evidence that this might be an aqueduct because of how much it resembles the Tunnel of Eupolinos, which is an aqueduct on Samos, Greece, that goes back to the 6th century BC. This aqueduct was constructed in the 6th century BC. It is also essential to keep in mind that a portion of the tunnel leading to the temple is buried under the waters of the Mediterranean. The discovery of comparable objects that were found in the same area lends credence to the idea that there is, to use an expression, light at the end of the tunnel. This, of course, does not mean that it does not lead to the tomb of Cleopatra. However, there is a little caveat that should be considered. Does Cleopatra want her tomb to be discovered? Cleopatra outsmarted everyone and made sure that her human remains and Mark Antony's were hidden from the Romans and their descendants forever, according to Dr. Martinez. There's no denying Cleopatra's intelligence. She could speak nine languages, was well-versed in mathematics and politics, and formed alliances with some of the most influential people in antiquity. However, she also knew exactly how she wanted to be remembered, as a beautiful goddess in life, as an immortal in death, and most importantly, with her remains eternally buried and concealed. While she may not be luxuriating in an Osiris-inspired afterlife in the field of rushes, she endured in our collective consciousness for a longer duration than Jesus Christ. Her grave is still securely concealed from view as of the time of going to press, and her attraction shows no signs of waning. The secrets we've uncovered today have offered a tantalizing glimpse into the past, leaving us hungry for further exploration and discovery. What other mysteries lie hidden beneath the sands of Egypt, waiting for intrepid explorers to unearth them. The story of Cleopatra's lost tomb is just one chapter in the ever-evolving book of history, and it reminds us that our understanding of the past is constantly evolving. Amidst the sands of time and the labyrinthine annals of history, one enigmatic figure emerges as a captivating enigma, shrouded in allure and mystery, Cleopatra. Her story echoes through the ages, whispered in ancient texts and sung in legends, but the true essence of this legendary queen remains elusive, like fragments of a grand mosaic scattered across the ages. Cleopatra's journey starts with her childhood and upbringing, which provide insight into her eventual acts and choices. Cleopatra acquired a rich history that mixed Greek and Egyptian customs when she was born into the renowned Ptolemaic dynasty. This cultural mix was crucial in establishing her identity and attitude. Cleopatra was raised in the royal court and had a thorough education that included Greek and other languages in addition to her native Egyptian language. This multilingualism not only emphasized her academic brilliance, but also allowed her to speak successfully with a wide spectrum of people, a talent that would prove crucial as she negotiated the complicated political terrain. The interesting story of Cleopatra's rise to power unfolds among family tensions and political machinations. Cleopatra got enmeshed in the complicated power conflicts that typified the Ptolemaic court as she shared control with different family members. Her first notable partnership was a romance with Julius Caesar, a renowned Roman leader, 
This coalition not only cemented her dominance, but also demonstrated her political savvy. Cleopatra deliberately allied herself with Caesar, securing his backing as well as a crucial position in Roman politics. This was the beginning of her quest to become a powerful and important leader in her own right. Cleopatra's partnership with Rome is a watershed moment in her life, when her connections with key Roman leaders impacted history. Cleopatra's role in Roman politics became stronger as a result of her friendship with Julius Caesar. She obtained not just a strong ally, but also the birth of a son, Ptolemy, also known as Caesarian, as a consequence of their connection. This relationship cemented her links to the Roman world and placed her as an important actor in the complicated international environment. However, it was her alliance with Mark Antony that would propel her to unimaginable heights. Cleopatra stretched her influence beyond Egypt's boundaries and into the heart of Roman politics by forming a political and emotional alliance with Antony. Their partnership represented more than simply the joining of two people, it represented the meeting of civilizations and empires. Cleopatra and Mark Antony would defy the existing power structures and create a dynamic that would attract the ancient world's attention. Cleopatra's life chapter based on her alliance with Mark Antony displays a complicated interplay of political maneuvers and personal relationships. Cleopatra's influence spread beyond Egypt's boundaries into the heart of the Roman Republic, thanks to her close collaboration with Mark Antony. Their union was defined not just by political connections, but also by a deep and intense love relationship, which solidified their link even more. Cleopatra's status as a prominent role in the geopolitical scene was cemented by Mark Antony's presence in the East. Their collaboration went beyond political maneuvers, it was a dynamic with enormous implications for the balance of power. Cleopatra aspired to protect her kingdom's interests while also strengthening her personal standing in a rapidly changing world by allying herself with a famous Roman leader. This partnership would pave the way for key events that would impact the fates of both people and the regions they controlled. The Battle of Axiom was the conclusion of Cleopatra's tale, a dramatic turning moment that led to her untimely fate and marked the end of her incredible voyage. The war began when tensions between Cleopatra and Mark Antony on one side and Octavian, later Emperor Augustus, on the other escalated. This struggle culminated in a naval battle that would decide the destiny of the Roman Republic and Egypt's future. The armies of Cleopatra and Mark Antony were arrayed against those of Octavian at the Battle of Actium, which took place on the Ionian Sea in 31 BC. Despite Cleopatra's strategic brilliance and Antony's military expertise, their united troops were defeated, causing their big dreams to unravel. This setback effectively ended their alliance, leaving Cleopatra and Mark Antony in a difficult situation. The terrible story took a heartbreaking turn in the aftermath of the struggle. Faced with the reality that their ambitions of dominance had been dashed, Cleopatra and Mark Antony opted to commit themselves. Cleopatra famously permitted herself to be bitten by an asp, a poisonous snake, as the way of her death, knowing the dreadful repercussions of falling into Octavian's hands. When Mark Antony learned of Cleopatra's death, he followed suit, killing himself by falling on his own sword. Despite her historical significance, no one knows where Cleopatra was buried. According to history, Mark Antony and Cleopatra were buried together, which means that whoever discovers her tomb will also uncover Antony, an intriguing prospect. Most archaeologists believe Cleopatra's tomb lies in ancient Alexandria. However, this would imply that it is submerged underwater. A significant chunk of ancient Alexandria is now submerged under the Mediterranean Sea. According to Robert Gerville, retired professor of classics at the University of California, Los Angeles, even if untouched by human hands, earthquakes and seawater would have buried or submerged it. Her castle is almost definitely submerged, perhaps her tomb as well. Fortunately, some archaeologists are still hopeful, enthusiastic, and optimistic about finding Cleopatra's tomb. Kathleen Martinez, a criminal lawyer turned archaeologist, has dedicated her life to discovering Cleopatra, her personal idol, since 2009. Martinez portrayed Cleopatra as follows in a recent National Geographic interview. She threatened Rome and Romans were afraid of her. 
She believed she could rule the world, despite the fact that she was a woman. She was a fighter, and she accomplished the unthinkable. This is why she is my heroine, and I will go to any length to discover her grave. These considerations prompted Martinez to initiate excavations at Taposiris Magna, the biggest known temple of Sirius and Osiris in the Alexandria area. Martinez has already made astounding findings at the temple using modern technology, such as ground-penetrating radar, satellite photography, lidar, and remote sensing. Her excavations have yielded a bounty of unexpected antiquities, including many mummies, one with a golden tongue, sculptures, jewelry, coins, ceramics, and other objects. Martinez just found a 6.5-foot-tall, 4,000, 300-foot-long tunnel 43 feet down at the temple. Martinez may not have discovered Antony and Cleopatra yet, but her expedition has the greatest promise in terms of locating Cleopatra's last burial site. The discovery of her tomb as one of the most renowned ladies in ancient history would be a life-changing and history-altering event. In this manner, Martinez's work has sparked and fueled our dreams about Cleopatra, Queen of the Nile, the great Roman men she loved, and the mysteries that lay inside her tomb. And we are inside a chamber that located about maybe seven meters under the ground. And this chamber is a perfect location to make us to believe that Cleopatra and Mark Antony could be buried in a chamber like this. In a remarkable turn of events, the long-awaited discovery of the tunnel leading to Cleopatra's tomb has finally come to light, revealing a treasure trove of history and intrigue buried beneath the sands of time. For centuries, the enigmatic allure of Cleopatra, the last queen of ancient Egypt, has captivated the imaginations of historians, archaeologists, and treasure hunters alike. Cleopatra's remarkable life, shrouded in myth and legend, has left behind a trail of mysteries, none more tantalizing than the whereabouts of her final resting place. Countless expeditions and excavations have been launched over the years in a desperate quest to locate Cleopatra's tomb, but the answers remained elusive, buried beneath the vast Egyptian desert. However, recent breakthroughs in archaeological research have reignited hope as a team of dedicated experts has finally unearthed the long-sought-after tunnel believed to lead to Cleopatra's tomb. This astonishing discovery promises to unravel the secrets of one of history's most enigmatic figures, offering a glimpse into the world of ancient Egypt at its height. Cleopatra was well known for her intelligence, political savvy, and captivating appeal. However, few people know that she was also Julius Caesar's mistress and the mother of his child. She became pregnant with three of Mark Antony's children after she married him. Most significantly, she was the last and most renowned queen of ancient Egypt. Her people saw her as the physical incarnation of Isis, the goddess of healing and magic. According to mythology, she ended her life by eating the venomous head of a deadly snake in order to avoid being captured by Rome. Her death is commemorated by a temple in Luxor, Egypt. The precise site of Cleopatra's tomb remains the most intriguing aspect of the many riddles and tales that continue to circulate about her. There have been a great number of historians and archaeologists who have looked for her last resting place, but no one has been successful in finding her bones. Cleopatra was born in the year 69 BC, and she lived through the latter years of the Ptolemaic monarchy and the end of the Roman Republic. Her life was a pivotal moment in history. She was just 18 years old when she succeeded to the throne of Egypt, which she shared with her younger brother, Ptolemy XIII. Obviously, her reputation did not rest only on the fact that she was a wise and strong ruler. She was renowned for her ability to captivate Julius Caesar and Mark Antony, who were, according to many sources, the two most powerful men in Rome at the time. Julius Caesar and Mark Antony both fell under her spell. As a result of the great significance of her position, which lies at the crossroads of love, fortune, power, politics, and diplomacy, it is possible that no other individual in the history of the world has ever been able to match her degree of intrigue and attraction. 
Cleopatra's exact burial location remains unknown, despite the fact that she was an extremely influential figure throughout the historical period in question. According to historical accounts, Cleopatra and Mark Antony were laid to rest in the same tomb. This means that whomever locates Cleopatra's tomb will also find Antony's, which is a very intriguing prospect. The vast majority of archaeologists are of the opinion that Cleopatra's tomb is located in ancient Alexandria. However, this would imply that it is located under the surface of the sea. A significant chunk of ancient Alexandria has been obliterated by the waters of the Mediterranean. In the early 2000s, underwater archaeologist Frank Gaudio conducted considerable research and exploration in the seas near Alexandria. The objective was not to locate Cleopatra's tomb, and in fact, no indications of Cleopatra were discovered during the dig. Yet, the majority of mainstream archaeologists continue to think that the Queen of the Nile is entombed inside a submerged burial in Alexandria. Even if it had not been touched by human hands, earthquakes and waves would have buried or drowned it, according to Robert Gerville, Professor Emeritus of Classics at the University of California, Los Angeles. There is little doubt that her castle is located underwater, perhaps even her tomb, she said. In their never-ending quest to locate Cleopatra's tomb, it is heartening to see that some archaeologists continue to hold on to hope, excitement, and optimism. Kathleen Martinez, a former criminal lawyer who is now an archaeologist, has focused all of her energy since 2009 on locating Cleopatra, a figure who has a special place in her heart. Martinez, in a recent interview with National Geographic, provided the following description of Cleopatra. She threatened Rome and Romans were afraid of her. She was under the impression that she could take over the whole globe. Despite the fact that she was a female, she was a fierce fighter. She was successful in doing the unthinkable. Because of this, I consider her to be my heroine, and I will spare no effort in my quest to locate her grave. Martinez offers a compelling argument that Cleopatra was not buried in Alexandria at all by drawing on historical evidence, which suggests that Cleopatra was most likely interred in a temple dedicated to Isis. She thinks instead that Cleopatra is visiting the temple of Isis at Taposiris Magna, which is located approximately 45 minutes west of Alexandria on the Sinai Peninsula. Martinez stated the following information in a different interview with the Daily Mail. Cleopatra negotiated with Octavian to allow her to bury Mark Antony in Egypt. Because she intended to recreate the myth of Isis and Osiris, she insisted that they be buried together after their deaths. The belief that following the religion of Osiris may lead to immortality is central to its practice. After Cleopatra and Antony both pass away, the gods will make it possible for Cleopatra to continue existing beside Antony in some other form of existence, ensuring that they will spend eternity together. Martinez began her exploration of the area around Alexandria by excavating Taposiris Magna, which is the biggest known temple dedicated to Cirrus and Osiris in the region of Alexandria. Martinez has already made a number of astounding findings at the temple by using cutting-edge technology such as ground-penetrating radar, satellite photography, lidar, and remote sensing. Since 2009, her excavations have unearthed a treasure mine of unanticipated antiquities, including many mummies, one of which had a golden tongue, sculptures, jewelry, coins, ceramics, and other items. More recently, Martinez found a tunnel at the temple that was around 43 feet below ground and was 4,300 feet in length. The tube was 6.5 feet tall. Although Martinez has not yet located Antony and Cleopatra, her expedition has the greatest potential for locating Cleopatra's last burial site. The discovery of her tomb, given that she was one of the most well-known ladies in ancient history, would be a momentous occasion that would change the course of history. In this way, Martinez's work has sparked and inflamed our dreams about the opulent and attractive life of Cleopatra, Queen of the Nile, the great Roman men she loved, and the mysteries that lay inside her tomb. In addition, our fancies have been stoked by the possibility that Cleopatra's tomb may include relics of her own body. Thank you for joining us on this captivating exploration into the long-lost tunnel leading to Cleopatra's tomb.
We hope you were as fascinated as we were by the historical significance and cultural treasures unveiled within. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting discoveries and adventures in the realm of archaeology. Until next time, keep exploring and uncovering the secrets of our past.